So I wanted to kind of take a look at a few different iPhones that Apple has actually pretty much completely discontinued. Now, these are iPhones that Apple no longer makes anymore. They used to make them, but the lineup I guess they had just wasn't selling too well or whatever the case is, and they wanted to completely get rid of it. Now, the first lineup, as you can tell, is the C lineup, the iPhone 5C. They dropped this iPhone one time, and then they've never dropped it ever again. Now, some people may argue, including myself, that the SE lineup, that this, you know, still currently being sold, that that is kind of a reincarnation of the C lineup, and I would argue that that is probably more true than not but the 5c for what it was at the time i think it was a very very weird approach from apple and i still don't understand why they did it now this iphone is completely discontinued it's also completely unsupported with software as well so you can no longer even update this phone so the c lineup is pretty much gone for good this was the cheaper version i guess of an iphone 5 which was already a year old when they dropped it so that honestly didn't make too much sense because you would just could just go and buy a used iphone 5 at that point and that would be not even as expensive as an iPhone 5C that was being sold for more in price, you know, than the 5 in the used market, which was crazy. It was also coming in worse build quality. It had plastic everywhere. And that was something that honestly, I don't understand why Apple did it. And even to this day, you know, I think they don't really regret it, but it was just a weird thing that they did. It was a weird step from Apple. Now, the next lineup is the mini lineup. This is honestly an iPhone that could have been really well, really good if they just dropped it with the 13 mini. If the iPhone 13 mini was what the 12 mini was, that would have been an amazing iPhone. That iPhone had great build quality, great battery life for its size, and also had a really good display, great performance. Everything was so good with that phone, but because the 12 mini wasn't that great, I think they had to go ahead and switch it up and give us, you know, the 13 mini, and then they had to end it there. That's why I don't even, they're not selling the iPhone 12 mini anymore in the, you know, Apple store, even though they, you know, easily cut. So that is something that's very interesting to me. And I feel like the mini lineup could have still continued on, but I do think what's going to end up happening very much like the 5C lineup, they're probably going to recycle the mini phone in general, and they're probably going to drop an iPhone SE with that body size. And I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. It's going to be something like that. I don't think they're going to just, you know, stop selling small phones in general. There's still a huge demographic of people who want it. And they could easily drop another lineup with that type of, you know, styling as well. Now, finally, this iPhone lineup actually was discontinued for years. And they just brought it back this year. And it's actually the Plus lineup. If you remember, the iPhone 8 Plus was the last Plus device. You know, then we had the Maxes and then the Pro Maxes. But for years and years, I mean, from 2017 up until this year, there was no Plus lineup. You know, Apple just completely discontinued it. And I will tell you, I think that was a smart move. There was really no need to have a Plus phone. And even now, it still doesn't really make too much sense, but I think it's totally okay. So that's kind of like an honorable mention. But those are some iPhones that Apple kind of discontinued. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.